Hey guys, welcome back, Fish Tank Mike here. Today we're gonna be setting up the final aquarium, our middle tank of our three down here. In the most recent episode, we set up the new mini ancient gardens tank and it's doing really, really good. Still only about a week old, if that, and I'm super happy with it. The first tank that we set up that's home to all of the Kurai Tetras is also doing pretty good. It's uh, still a little tingy. We gotta do some more water changes and work through that period that it's going through right now, but I'm really optimistic. And that just leaves us with the middle tank that we'll be setting up today. So this stuff that's in the aquarium has lived here for a while throughout kind of both of the setups. and so. I'm I'm sure a lot of you guys that have been following the channel, you guys um, know the kind of escapes that I make, you know what we're gonna be doing today already. It's time to make a double sand waterfall aquarium. Before we go and grab the rocks that we're gonna be using to build the waterfalls, let's talk about all of this stuff and some of the equipment and things that we have on the aquarium already. Let's start out with the light. This is an ONF Flat One, and it is the newest version of the two, so it has an app, you can control it, all that good stuff. We also have the ONF Hanging Kit, and it just kind of blends together with all the lights here. So I believe this is the 24 inch version of this light, and I think it has to be because these are the 36 inches that are sitting on the 50 gallon tanks. I think we're gonna be just fine with having a shorter light here. This thing is super powerful and should be plenty of light for whatever plants we end up putting in this thing. The tanks themselves are water box aquariums. They're the 36 inch by 20 inch, roughly 50 gallon tanks, and we have the matching black stands on all of them. Let's go ahead and open this cabinet up and talk about what's going on down here. So we have the CO2 system that lives in the middle here. This is CO2 art. We have the three-way regulator so we can have three tanks running with CO2 if we want. Not 100% sure if we're gonna put it on this tank. Again, we'll have to make that decision once we figure out what we're gonna put in here plant-wise, uh, but that's a nice option to have. We don't have a filter down here and we're probably not gonna run any kind of filtration on this tank and you'll see why once we get to the setup, but on the other two aquariums we have a Waza canister filters, these are the Filto Smart version, so they're the little bit smaller, smaller than the Biomasters at least, but they have built-in heaters in both of them that we're using, and that's a huge plus. One of the main reasons why I like a Waza filter so much is because they have that option. It's a little dark over here. You can see this, this one's a little bit bigger, uh, but they run really good. They do exactly what I want them to do. Big thanks to a Waza and Waterbox for sponsoring the channel and helping me do what I love to do. So. Links in description, go check them out guys if you need a new filter, new tank, and then of course the light, we'll throw that as well as everything that we're using in today's cool project down in the description so you can find the stuff if you wanna try and recreate something like this. If you guys are unfamiliar with how a powerhead driven sand waterfall works, I'm gonna link to the video that we did probably two or three years ago when I made the first one, okay? And in that video we go into super great detail on how to make these pieces and how to exactly do it, because this is super, super important, okay? You need to have an inlet, and then you need to put uh, like a piece of acrylic or whatever in here to make a slant to push the sand, and you're gonna see exactly how to do this in that video, just in the interest of time and not getting too crazy into it, because I know a lot of you guys already know about this. If you wanna learn exactly how to make this stuff, Click the link, watch that video, okay? Now, with that said, we are using two Eco Plus 185 submersible pumps to run these things, and I don't know exactly how we're going to position these things, whether or not this one's gonna sit up here, or if that one, this one is gonna sit on the side of that. Uh, in the aquarium that we originally did this in, we had a false back, so it was really easy to hide the pumps. We don't have that with this aquarium, and I really didn't feel like building my own false backing or filter area, whatever you wanna call it. I think instead what we're gonna do is hide the pumps as best we can with the rocks that we have and just kind of cohesively make it into one mountain. And you'll see if that happens or not as the video goes on. So yeah guys, let's just go ahead, let's grab our rocks, let's put them in here, let's start kind of making some designs and hopefully it all just looks cohesive and more importantly, the sand waterfall will work. Hopefully this is enough sand. We'll find out eventually. But here we have a really big box, guys. And in this box is all the rocks we're gonna be using. Here are the rocks, guys. We are gonna be using this faux Suryu stone 
that's made by Current USA. And the reason for this is really simple, guys. It's lightweight and it was available to me. And I, you know, I've done this thing before. I've done the sand waterfall with real heavy Suryu stone, and it's kind of really hard. I think it's going to be really hard no matter what. But we had the opportunity to use this stuff and I wanted to give it a shot. I think it's going to be a lot easier to stack these things up and not have to worry so much about the weight of the rock. And I mean, we'll just find out. But that was my thought process at least. We're about to find out. I guess the other plus is also if we build something and then it collapses, it's not going to have the potential to break the tank. This stuff is all plastic, of course. Looks really realistic and, you know, less stress when I'm making this thing. That's going to be really important. I'm going to really appreciate that. There's a bunch of different sizes here. We have repeats of a lot of them, but I think as long as we stack them in different directions, they're you know not going to look weird or not real. And of course, we will be super gluing these together at some point once we find a structure that allows for the sand to flow. And we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. As you just saw, accidents can happen, things can fall down, I'm glad these things are plastic and not real big heavy Suryu stone that could damage the tank. But yeah, I know we could totally have substrate down here first and we probably should have done that and that would have helped it, but that doesn't save the back panel here from getting scratched up. So things are looking good. This is essentially what we're going to try and go for with this whole thing is just pile these rocks up, cover the tube and get it looking as good as possible. Maybe take half of one, or maybe even a real piece of Suryu stone when we're all done, and kind of cover the top here so you just, you can't see any of that. And if we come and look over here, you know, there's see-throughs and we can still see the tube and all that. We just eventually cover that completely with rock, and then eventually when we're done done, or almost done, we can get some foam filler and fill in the gaps so we don't have any sand going behind it. So that's the premise. I hope that makes sense to you guys. We have our pumps in place and these so far are staying up. They're just kind of perfectly fit into this half inch PVC. And I'm hoping that that is gonna end up working. We won't know until we get the tank filled up and that's why this thing is kind of so difficult. We don't wanna fix any of these rocks in place until we know the sand waterfall works good. So I think the best way to build this thing is with water in the tank, with sand in the tank. And so now I guess we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's been a long time since I've made one of these guys, but I think we're on the right track. So I'm gonna pull all these rocks out. We're gonna put some sand in and then start to kind of build it again. And then eventually put some water in and start testing it out. And hopefully we can get lucky. Most of what I want to accomplish with the waterfalls is in place, guys, but before we continue, I want to go ahead and fill up the tank and just check out how this is going to function. I went ahead and grabbed some extra sand because we're definitely going to need some more as it pulls in through this hole. We need this entire area to be covered, and we do need a few more rocks. So I got another kit of rocks coming from Current USA, and that's going to help us to, you know, hide areas like this that are exposed and then also build more of a barrier here that will hold in the sand that we need to stay in this area to be pumped through the waterfall. This is also a really good opportunity to make sure that our pumps and the way that they're connected to the PVC is going to work out. Uh, we don't want to go through and 
you know, make this permanent with super glue and foam filling and doing all that if there's an issue. So this will be a good first test. Let's go ahead and let's check it out. So here we are out of the tank the next day guys, it's been probably about 24 hours since we set this thing up. The sand waterfalls have been going 
all night. So really glad to see that those are still operating and we're not losing any sand into any weird cracks. But you will notice that the water is pretty cloudy and that is something that it takes a while for this to eventually go away. When I made the first sand waterfall a couple years ago, this is something that took several weeks to remedy. A lot of water changes, a lot of just constant drain fills to get this thing clear and it'll clear up and then it'll just get cloudy again. And this process takes a while to get to a point where basically all of the sand that's going through the waterfall has gone through it several times and whatever coating is on this white sand is pretty much out of the picture. I'm not sure if there's a better type of sand that doesn't have this. Um, this is just the stuff that I got from Petco that pretty much anybody can find and this is something that just happens with it. What you eventually start to notice is that the sand that runs through the waterfall for a, you know a long period of time it'll start to get a little bit more tan like that white coating will slightly come off. The problem is, is that if you have to keep shoveling fresh sand into it, then it's just gonna get cloudy again. So I guess that's just one of the things that you have to sacrifice and go through if you wanna have an aquascape like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do a drain fill on here, get it a little bit more clear so we can talk a little bit more about some of the things you may have seen me done during that time lapse of setting it up. Putting the Monte Carlo in there, why did I do that? We're gonna talk about that, and of course we're gonna finish up the scape. Now that looks a lot better. So just about 30 minutes of doing a drain fill, that's probably enough to change all, if not most of the water in here. And you can see now it's pretty much crystal clear. So now we're about to kind of finish up planting guys. So Monte Carlo is gonna be the main plant in the cracks of the rocks here. And these little pieces that we have plugged in here just are perfect at preventing sand from getting back into little holes that we didn't fill uh, with that landscape expanding foam stuff. Creating the waterfall like I did with the pumps actually in the scape and at a certain height prevents me from draining the tank down completely because when I do that, if I were to do that right now, say, to go in and actually fill that with the foam, um, the pumps then need to be kind of disconnected a little bit to get going. So we're in a situation where we can't really drain this tank down. We have to do pretty much a drain fill. And again, that's a direct result of me building it the way it is. If those pumps were down at the bottom and they were say like behind a false back or a filter or whatever, then it would be a lot easier. So this is definitely probably more of an inconvenient way to make this, but, but you know, I was doing what I could with what I had and all of this is really great. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, this waterfall, uh, you know a little bit different than this one over here and that was the goal so now we're gonna go ahead and plant we're gonna do basically more of this and hopefully we can get a lot of Monte Carlo that's not gonna get covered by sand but we'll be able to use it in some spots like over here there's a little bit of a spot where it's slowly leaching behind and that will eventually cause this waterfall to stop you know if it runs for a day or two another long day of work completed guys and I think we're pretty much where we want to be with this tank obviously we could probably use some more plants in here we just have some of those pieces of Monte Carlo off of a huge mat that we got from 
when we redid this tank. Uh, I think we need some more in here. It would be nice to have some kind of stem plants or something that would be a little bit more bushy that we could put in the corners and maybe even in the back just to fill this thing out. Obviously, we put in a lot of substrate here and nothing's in it. So um, that's something that I'm going to think about over the next few days and drop some comments. Let me know if you have some suggestions that that would totally help me out. We got our CO2 all hooked up, guys, because obviously with the Monte Carlo, as we know from doing these style of tanks, it needs to have some CO2 to get going. So hopefully that's a pretty quick transition. Um, this is just an Aqua Neo diffuser, one of these super long ones that's meant to be heated up so you can bend it over, but it ended up being just kind of the perfect height to just plug it in here. So we got our CO2 art three-way regulator down here. Of course, if you wanna get into the CO2 world, CO2 art's a really good choice, and there's a discount code for you, AquaPros, that'll get you 10% off if you decide to get some gear. So yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say about what we have here, guys. It'll be interesting to come out tomorrow and see if the sand waterfalls are still going. If I've done my job correctly, then they should be all good to go, um, but you never know. Sometimes they do stop, and then you need to just push some more sand in and try and identify where the leak is. That's really the hardest thing about doing sand waterfalls is identifying little leaks when they happen and you never know when they're gonna spring up. So the other thing, of course, being the cloudiness, it'll be interesting to see how bad it gets and you know how much I wanna deal with that. So again, in my experience, you just have to wait for this sand to kinda get off of it what is <laughs> you know the coating or whatever that's the word i'm looking for um and so we might just let it get really hazy and let that same sand pass through and then just deal with it you know a week at a time but i'll keep you guys updated thank you so much for checking out this tank i hope you like it there's something special about these they're a pain in the butt but once you get them I mean, they're really fun. So we'll cross our fingers. We'll do our due diligence on here and try and keep this tank as pristine as possible. Uh, don't forget to check out Waterbox Aquariums. That is all three of the tanks that we have down here, including the big one on the messy side of the room. Well, I mean, it's messy everywhere here, guys. But now we can finally clean things up. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, link in description for Waterbox. Thank you once again for helping me get all of these tanks and all of these projects completed and thank you guys of course for being part of this journey you are the most important part of the whole thing so i'm here to please i'm here to you know inspire you guys and give you some new kind of ideas for some tanks the sand waterfall one it's a tough one but it's pretty dang rewarding so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're new with the notification bell and we'll see you in the next video